Hello and welcome! In this tutorial, we are going to go over what's possible using your JMobile application. You saw in a previous video how to download this from the App Store, install it on your phone, and now let's go ahead and get logged in. The login you see here will be your username for your Jeunesse J Office and your password. I like to toggle this keep me logged in because then you won't have to enter this information again. The same way you log into Facebook or Twitter where you open the app automatically will be exactly how you're able to use your J-Mobile app. I'm going to go ahead and press login. Now the first thing we see when we enter the app is going to be your business snapshot. This was something that's very important to Wendy. Um, a lot of the leaders came and said they wanted just an easy way to take like a quick glance at where they were in their business, how many new customers they needed, um, if they had anyone enroll in their business, just get that information quickly and easily. And so Jeunesse has come up with the My Business Snapshot fully accessible from your J-Mobile app. All you have to do is scroll through here. It gives you a plethora of information about your business, where your business stands, your team snapshot, how many distributors you have on your left and right, um, are your auto ships working, your sales volume by your enroller tree, all kinds of information. And this is the same screen that you see when you log into your J office. So again, it's the J mobile working synergistically with the J office. So I'm gonna come up here to the top left. This is my menu bar. So I'm gonna go over here and look at my menu. This is a test account, but this would be your Jeunesse username here. Now let me quickly walk you through all of the features and then we'll dive a little bit more in depth in another tutorial. The first thing you can do is hit home. Now home is just gonna take you right back to your business snapshot. So anytime you wanna access that, you can hit home. You can also take your thumb on the screen and just kind of like swipe over right here from uh, right to left and it will bring the screen back over. The first thing you see is your promotions. One of the main reasons we wanted to create the J Mobile app was to help people promote their business using their mobile device. And so we came up with this concept to do these really short peak interest videos to be able to send a text message to your friends, uh, colleagues, different people that you know to introduce them to your Jeunesse business. Why? Well, why is because we know you're no longer tied to your laptops or computers to do business. Now, everywhere you go, your friends go too because they live in your mobile device. And so Jeunesse knew that launching a mobile app that would allow people not only to prospect uh, by sending out these short little peak interest videos, but also enroll people right in their, inside of their app. So you no longer need to pay for apps. You don't need to run home and go to your computer. You can literally add a new sign up right from the palm of your hand. Um, so let's move on to that feature. The SMS campaign, I'll walk you through in just a minute here, but you can see these are where your campaigns would come through that you would be able to text. And we'll go through that in another very short tutorial. For this one, I just kind of want to give you a uh, top to bottom overview. Now in my lead section, in order to send an SMS campaign, we have to create a group. So the first thing that you would do is actually go into your manage groups area. And it's telling me I don't have any groups yet, so let's start by adding a new one. The way we recommend um, setting up your groups, because the campaigns are based on product, opportunity, and company, we recommend doing um, your groups starting with your 10 best. The 10 people that you know um, would be open to taking a look at something simply because you asked them to do it. So to do the group, we just added our 10 best and we're gonna come down here to add new and we're gonna add another group. So this would be um, extra income and there's another group. Now all I'm gonna do is actually press on the group I just created to slide into a new window and now what I need to do is actually add a telephone number here. So this is my 10 best. So at the bottom right, I'm going to hit add new. And this is where I'm able to add a contact. So I'm going to add Dan just as an example here. And to add a contact, all you have to do is just press on their um, phone number. So the upload contacts, you don't need to worry about right now. We are... Um, Eventually, you'll see this go away. The upload contacts allows you to manually sync the contacts that you add to your leads into your back office. So when you hit upload contacts, what's that? what that's doing is it's seeing that I added a new contact to one of my group. So to sync this with my back office, I would actually have to select it and then hit upload. Would you like to upload your contacts to J-Mobile? Okay. 
contacts have been uploaded. What that's telling me is it just synced that lead into my back office. Now, we've been working just based on the feedback that has come back. We are going to have your contacts automatically sync because this upload contacts is causing people some um, frustration just because they're not quite sure. I, I know a lot of people are wanting to upload their phone contacts there and that's not how it works. That feature actually just syncs. And so in the future, you'll see in the newer versions of the J-Mobile that that will no longer be an option. You'll just be able to manage your group, send out text message, and he will automatically sync for you. So let's keep moving down in the J-Office. Now you see we're in a different segment of the app. We can see um, by clicking on People I Sponsor, we can literally see everyone that we've personally sponsored, all their contact information, their name, their address, any of the information that they have so that we can get a hold of them. Um, we can see our personally sponsored distributors under the people I sponsor. The next thing we have is the add a new sign up. Remember I was telling you you can sponsor people right from inside your app? Now this right here would be your Jeunesse username. So if it's tester.jeunesseglobal.com, you would be able to use that. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit sign up for Jeunesse and watch as this takes me right into my J office, into our responsive website. We can see this is my storefront right here. This is my virtual store, my Jeunesse um, landing page and walk them through the same way you would sign them up. You can sign them up right from your mobile device. It will walk you through the entire program. Now look, if we go back here to the sign up, we can go right back inside of our app. So that's how you add a new sign up. Next, we have messages. Now messages are great in case you get a lot of email, maybe you're not able to see exactly what's coming through or what's going on with Jeunesse. Or if you missed something and you think, oh, I remember when they were doing a promotion um, after the Vegas event, I'd love to see what that is you can come back to actually see all of the e-blasts that came through. So this one just came through earlier. It is promoting the events in Milan. So you can see everything that you could access from your desktop, you can now access from your mobile device. So we've got our e-blasts in there too to keep you up to date on what's going on. You're able to run reports. Now we picked, um, based on what field leaders had recommended, some of the most used um, reports, the ones that people really, really want to run, the ones that really help them stay on top of their business. Obviously, there are much more features in your J office. If you're on a desktop and you actually go inside of your J office, you can actually um, access your J office right from your mobile device, and I'll show you that next. But the reports that you can run inside of the app are going to be ones that we've heard from the field are the most important. So you're able to just go ahead and click on one of them, and you can view the report by making the changes necessary. Necessary. So I'm going to go back. All right, J Office Web. So by clicking this, this is actually going to open my back office, and you can see what's really cool about our new J Office is it has a website which we call a responsive website. What this allows us to do is see exactly what we would see on our computer right on our phone. What we're going to do here, we have our business snapshot, which you guys saw was on the home screen of the app. Now, if I click on my dashboard, I can see my home, and I can also access the members-only area. Over here, this wheel, it will take me to my profile, my J Cloud, back to my business snapshot, or allow me to log out. So, lots of things you can do inside of the J Office, but keep in mind, now we have actually moved into a Safari browsing window, and so... Um, if we're not going to use anything inside of the app, what we'll want to do is just hit our little home button down here, actually press the button, and now go back into the app. Something neat to note right here is, see how you can see I have lots of emails, I've got a couple missed calls, lots of stuff happening on Twitter, and you know my task management here. J Mobile also has alerts, and this is one of my favorite features, so I'm actually able to see What's happening? Are, is there activity going on with the text messages that I've sent out or with any of the campaigns that I run? So when I open the app, I'm going to come down to alerts, which is the next feature I want to talk to you guys about. I love this feature because it literally allows us to keep track of what's happening in our business. As your business continues to grow and you've got hundreds and hundreds of people coming in and hundreds and hundreds of prospects and huge, huge organizations, it's good to be able to keep track of everything. It can be overwhelming. And so we are trying to give you the technology to be able to run your business very, very efficiently. So you can see after we had sent out SMS campaigns, they're tracked by special links. 
um, that are exclusive just to us. And so I'm able to see when someone clicks on them, if they've opened them, how much they've watched of them. Um, I'm also able to give away samples. If I have samples in my back office, I'm able to use that through my mobile device. When I text someone a video about how to make money using social media, they're able to sample our Luminous product. Now, this is not available in all countries right now. It's available in Canada, the United States, New Zealand, and Australia. We are looking to roll this out into additional countries. And also, you cannot sample unless you actually have purchased samples and have them available in your store for digital distribution. So I can see this Jeunesse sample order notification that someone watched the video and then they went and ordered a sample. So the alerts are fantastic to let you know what's going on in your business. And then finally, if I come down to the bottom on the JCloud, these are my files. And what's interesting about this is it actually houses a lot of the files that are in your members only area in your back office. Now, these are hosted in the cloud, just like you've heard of iCloud. Well, that's exactly what we've done with the JCloud. We've made it so you can run your business on the go. If you need to reference, say, for example, the, the affinity sheet that gives you all of the information about the product and the ingredients and how to use it and how to take it, you can actually find that information in your members-only area. So if I click on this, I want to show you guys very quickly. You have all your forms, your marketing tools, documents. I'm actually going to go to media, and then I'm going to go to video. I'm going to go to company, and then I'm going to go to founders. Now you can see, based on this little cloud, that I have not downloaded. This tells us what's stored and what's not. So by clicking on this, it is going to start to download. The same way you download an app is the same way that I'm going to go ahead and download this video. Now... I'm downloading it from the cloud into my app. And what's going to happen when it's done downloading, it will give me the option as to um, whether I want to watch it with a quick view or whether I want to save it down to my camera roll and keep it on my phone. Now remember, when you're saving down files, say for example you want to save some PDFs or you want to save a presentation, you want to save some of these videos, keep in mind that when you download them and save them to your device, they will take up space. So you want to just be careful what you're accessing, what you're downloading, and what you really need to have available at all times on your mobile device, and what you can maybe uh, revisit later or just keep in the cloud until you need it and then pull it down. All right, well, as you can see, our video has completely downloaded, and so what I want to show you guys is how you actually watch the video. So by clicking on it, my little menu bar drops, and it tells me I have different options for this video. It's going to ask me, do I want to send it as a message, email it, pop it on Facebook, open it in Tumblr, send it through WhatsApp, open it in Dropbox. Um, and just be careful because I'm assuming that's too large to actually send as a text message, but your iPhone will give you the option because it doesn't realize the file is too big. So ideally, you're not going to want to do anything super fancy with the thing other than just watch it or download the video to your phone. So how you do that, if you'd like to save the video to your camera roll, just click on Save Video, and it says it'd like to access your photos. Is that okay? Okay. And then that gives you access to your camera roll, so you can go on your phone's camera roll. Now you'll be able to see the video. But you don't even have to do that. Now that you have the file inside of your app, all you have to do is press it, bring up this menu bar, and you'll want to use the native video player on your iPhone, which is just by uh, clicking Quick Look right here. And when I click that, the video pops right up. And there's Randy. For me, For me never giving up just that and what's interesting when you're done all you have to do is hit done on the top left there and then it stops but all of the videos that are in here are extremely high quality so you could literally you know have a meeting and airplay this right to your apple tv or play it on your laptop and you're going to see extremely extremely high quality very very well done videos that are released by our company and so we'll just go back here um, clicking back until we get to our main menu. And now we'll just go back to our main menu. And you can see that is just a very quick overview of the different features and functionality that you have inside of your JMobile app. In the next tutorial, I'm going to walk you through in detail how to send an SMS campaign. Thank you so much for watching.